Well, hey guys, get excited because in this video, we're gonna be talking all about medical grade skincare and is it worth it? If you are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea and I am a board certified dermatologist. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the claims surrounding medical grade skincare. Medical grade skincare refers to skincare products that are sold in a clinical setting, either a dermatologist's office, a plastic surgeon's office, or in a med spa. Medical grade skincare enthusiasts claim that medical grade products are formulated to penetrate the skin more effectively than things you might buy over the counter at the drugstore. They claim that the ingredients are more potent, that they are backed by clinical research, that they will get you better results than anything you could buy at Walmart, and that they are necessary to get the best results. Are these claims true? In short, they are not. Medical grade means nothing. It is a marketing term and it is used to sell products, leveraging the expertise of either the doctor or the esthetician, the nurse practitioner, and you are leveraging that with a captive audience who is seeking an aesthetic treatment. So it is the perfect window of opportunity to market products, but the terminology does not have any backing to it. Medical grade is not only just a marketing term, but it has no regulation. It can mean anything. And there's nothing in terms of regulation to require these products to demonstrate superiority to anything else that you might buy. And therefore, the claims that people make around them are not substantial substantiated or regulated claims. There are no rules that a brand must follow in order to call its products medical grade. For example, we'll just say clean and clear. The makers of Clean and Clear, they could decide that they're gonna take the exact same products, the exact same face wash, moisturizers that they sell at Walmart. They're gonna start another brand under their company and they're gonna call it Dr. Dre, <laughs> let's just say. And they're only gonna sell it in physicians' offices and they're gonna call it medical grade, but it's the exact same products, just different packaging and marketing to a different audience. Instead of being on the shelves at Walmart, they're gonna market it instead to people getting aesthetic treatments. Same exact products, just different labeling, different marketing. That can happen with stuff that's being called medical grade because there's no regulatory oversight to substantiate the claims of superiority. Remember, skincare products, they are not drugs. It doesn't matter if it's a product that might help with hyperpigmentation, which is a true skin condition. It doesn't matter if it's a product that may help with redness, that may even help with acne. If it is not an over-the-counter medication or a prescription medication, it's just a cosmetic, it's a non-drug cosmetic. The only regulation is that they can't make claims surrounding the efficacy of their product for the treatment of any skin disease or condition. Otherwise, the FTC or FDA will come after them and find them. So really, the, the products that you're buying from these spas or from your doctor's offices, there's no regulation to actually substantiate the claim that they are more effective. What about the claim that the products are clinically tested? Nope, there's nothing to substantiate that either. These brands do not actually have to conduct clinical testing on their products in order to call themselves medical grade. Clinical testing may occur with these products. Some of them do actually carry out clinical trials. And from other videos that I have done on other products, you have seen that the trials that they carry out are not always necessarily the most robust in quality. They are kind of carried out in such a way so as to make their product look good. For example, I recently reviewed the medical grade skincare product, Alpha Ret Overnight Cream. And remember from that video, I pointed out how they didn't include the vehicle controlled. While some medical grade brands may actually carry out clinical testing, they're not required to. And brands that you buy in the drugstore, many of them actually do carry out clinical testing. Cetaphil is owned by Galderma, which is a pharmaceutical company. Neutrogena is owned by Johnson & Johnson, a pharmaceutical company. So where are we drawing the line here with what underscores medical grade? I mean, these are pharmaceutical companies with their own skincare lines that are sold drugstore. So it just doesn't make sense that products sold in office can somehow try and make this claim that they are more efficacious than what you would buy in the drugstore. And not only that, a lot of pharmaceutical companies, not only do they have the drugstore lines, but they also have lines that you know are marketed as medical grade. Again, it's no different than if Clean and Clear wanted to start repackaging their 
their citrusy face washes into you know more svelte sleek packaging upcharging selling them in physicians offices under a whole new brand they totally could do that the next claim they make a fair amount that always makes me chuckle is uh they claim that medical grade skincare uses like a higher percentage or mo more potent form of the active ingredient than what you could get from a drugstore product and it's like prove it in order to really substantiate that kind of claim you would have to conduct blinded clinical trials between your product and what you buy over the counter showing like superiority you know that, that your product is superior in terms of outcome maybe something like for redness for example or hyperpigmentation and none of that exists you guys there's there's never going to be a study comparing it product A to product B in a truly scientific fashion. So that doesn't exist. And I will also point out that higher percentage or more potent doesn't necessarily mean more effective. You can reach a threshold with ingredients where if you start exceeding a certain level, you get diminishing returns. And in many cases, the product can just end up being more irritating or simply not effective. And it's important to remember that because when we're talking about these ingredients in these cosmetic products, remember non-drug products, the ingredients, we don't actually know what the effective dose is for many of them. It's not as though there are dose response curves out there for these different things. So there's no benchmark in terms of effective percentage strength. So that is an egregious statement right there. There are no dose response curves out there for skincare products. The next claim is that medical grade skincare products penetrate the skin more deeply. That's false too. There's no regulation that brands have to actually demonstrate skin penetration of their ingredients and of their formulations. There's really, there's no definitive difference between how medical grade skincare products are formulated and the drugstore stuff are formulated to underscore somehow an enhanced penetration. Penetration of ingredients is influenced by a variety of factors. Formulation overall, which again, there's no definitive difference between formulation of medical grade products and drugstore products. The other things that influence penetration of ingredients include the body site, the, you know, the skin, the body site where you're applying it. So like stuff that you apply around your eyes is gonna penetrate more readily because the skin there is thin in comparison to the back where the skin is very thick. And the health of the skin. If you have a skin barrier defect or a cut or something, you're gonna get enhanced penetration. If the skin is wet, there will be enhanced penetration as well. So a lot of things influence penetration of ingredients and the statement that medical grade products penetrate more deeply is false. Uh, there's, no, there's no research, there's no no regulation to substantiate this claim. And then last but not least is just the false fixed belief that medical grade products are better. And that is not true because in order to substantiate that claim, again, you've got to have head to head comparator trials blinded to really say that. And better in what sense? Better in the sense of improving what outcomes? It's just a very nebulous claim to make that a medical grade product is superior to a drugstore product when there is no there is no comparing the two because there are no studies comparing the two. The only things that are truly medical grade are going to be prescription drugs, which medical grade skincare is not a drug. It is not a prescription drug. Or over-the-counter medications like Adapalene, brand name Differin, you could consider that medical grade because it's an FDA approved drug to treat acne or salicylic acid, an FDA approved acne treatment sold over the counter. The other thing about medical grade skincare marketing and it being dispensed through physicians offices or uh, med spas is that it is a revenue generator for those practices. Nothing wrong with that. I think it can definitely be helpful to have that in your practice but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is any more effective or clinically you know, rooted in clinical science or anything like that. So hopefully that clarifies to you guys that medical grade skincare, it's just marketing. It doesn't speak to the efficacy or the science behind the formulations or anything like that. And now that I've explained that, I'm going to confuse you a bit and share with you a situation where the terminology medical grade is actually meaningful and useful. And that is when we're talking about an ingredient or a material 
with medical application. And the medical grade is kind of speaking to the processing, refinement of the ingredient such that it is safe for medical use. For example, there is such a thing as medical grade honey. Medical grade honey is irradiated and filtered so that it is safe to use in the medical setting for application on, the, on wounds. That is different than food grade honey that you buy at the grocery store. There's also medical grade silicone that you can find in scar patches. That differs from the silicone that's going to be in foods. It differs from the silicones that are going to be used in like lubrication. I have, for example, I have a silicone that I use to lubricate my treadmill deck. Not the same as what is in those silicone patches for scars. So they're in medical grade. It actually has meaning. It's kind of more referring to the safety of the ingredient in comparison to that ingredient used in other applications. The processing is different. Another example is mineral oil. There is medical grade or cosmetic grade mineral oil. That is a grade safe to apply to the skin and for medical applications to the human body. It's gonna be much different than mineral oil that you might find in food. There's food grade mineral oil as well. So that's really where medical grade has some meaning is when we're talking about like the processing of the ingredient for use in the medical setting, but it doesn't distinguish skincare brands from one another. And so because of medical grade skincare marketing, I find that this situation that I'm referring to where you're talking about like materials or raw, raw materials, ingredients used for medical application, I do find that it can be very confusing because in there it really does have some meaning. It's basically just referring to, hey, this is safe for medical application by virtue of its processing, handling, refinement, or what have you, as opposed to like food grade or machine grade. So therein, medical grade does have some, some meaning. So just to clarify that, like medical grade honey is a real thing. It, you know, it's just processed to be safe for like applying to wounds and stuff. Medical grade silicone is a real thing, but medical grade moisturizer is not a real thing. All right, y'all, that is what I can tell you about medical grade skincare. I hope that helps clarify some things. You know, a medical grade retinol serum claiming that it's more effective than a drugstore retinol serum. It's just a claim. They have no proof that it's more effective. They, there aren't published papers comparing the two. There aren't published trials comparing the two. And there's no set of definitions that tells you that their product has been formulated in a unique fashion to allow for better uptake of their ingredient. It's just a type of marketing. It doesn't equate to efficacy or you know, better penetration. It doesn't guarantee better results. Not to say that you know, if you wanna use medical grade skincare, there's any problem there. A lot of medical grade skincare products are quite good. If that is what you wanna use, if that's what you like, if that's what you find works for you, then by all means, continue to use those products. There are many great medical grade skincare products out there, but to say that they are better is an overstatement. Skincare products, they are non-drugs cosmetics. And when it comes to the claims, brands can make a lot of claims. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you use medical grade skincare? And on the end slate, I'm gonna put my recent review of the Skin Better Sciences Alpha Ret Overnight Cream, kind of debunking that. So check that out. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.